Hi everyone and welcome back to Liz Sews and the first video in my Vlogmas 2020 series. In today's video, I have a spotlight for a bra builder's kit called Poinsettia, which I have made up right here. If you guys are interested in getting one of these kits for yourself, stay tuned to the end of the video because I do have a little giveaway for my US residents. So first off, let's look at the lace. So the lace itself is this really pretty sort of deep red colorway um, with the poinsettia flowers in there in sort of an extra shiny material just along the edge. So this lace is fairly see-through. I really like this sort of like uh, diamond design in it. I think that's really pretty. And it's also fairly wide. Um, if I had to guess, I'd say it's like nine or 10 inches wide. I really should measure these things before I start filming. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a pretty substantial amount of lace. So bra builders kits tend to come with a very generous amount of lace. I can typically get two, if not three projects out of the amount of materials that they send me. So this is the lace itself, really, really pretty. And you have two options of colors to go with it. The first being um, just the classic frost, which is their like undyed white. And the frost, this is what I'm showing here is micro lycra. Uh, the second color, which is sort of like a specialty color for this month, and that is crimson. So crimson is this really nice red color. I think it complements the lace really well. I'd say it's a little bit more cool toned of a red, like it has, has a little bit of like bluish undertones. Um, so if you compare this to flame, you can see how flame has a little bit warmer tone to it. It's a little bit more true red, whereas the crimson is a little um, more muted, a little more subtle, a little bit more sophisticated. Um, so I have a bunch of different materials to show you in the crimson color. First, we have micro lycra, or I'm sorry, this is micro duoplex. So this is your sturdy, sturdy non-stretch fabrics that can be used in the cup. Um, it won't stretch at all. I get away with a single layer. I think my mom gets a single layer of this as well. I'm not sure. And she's, she's a size F cup. So definitely is, is great for support. I would say that micro duoplex is a little bit trickier to sew with. I use uh, the 8012 Microtex needles and I also use the Superior So Fine thread. It makes a world of difference in getting somewhat decent looking stitches on this fabric. Um, the next fabric I have is just the medium weight power net. So you can see what it looks like in that. Uh, it definitely picks up color pretty consistently across all of the different fabrics. Sometimes you'll see some variation, but on this one, the crimson picks up pretty uniformly across all fabrics. So micro duoplex, this is the back band, so the power net. I also have sheer cup lining in crimson. Let's see one. Two. Most of, the, most of the time I'm using sheer cup lining in a single layer or maybe two layers. Um, I, this is one of my favorite fabrics to work with. It's, it's typically what I line most of my bras in and I also love just making sheer bras. I think having a sheer bra with this and accented with this lace would be really, really pretty as well. And then last up for this one, I have some micro lycra. And this is uh, what I like to use for underwear. It's a really, really nice fabric. I would say it's similar to like peach skin in feel, but of course it's lycra, so it has a lot of stretch to it. It works great in underwear, and I, it's, it's nice to have like this coordinating fabric that goes with everything else that you're using in your bra. So now that we've looked at these, I do have a quick comparison on these colors. So like I said, here is crimson, which is the new color. And we did see flame, which is a little bit brighter of a red. I also have Merlot that we can compare it to. So this is Merlot. This came out last year, 2019. Um, I think that's when I picked it up. So Merlot, I would say is a little more muted, a little bit more brown tone than the crimson is. So Merlot, crimson, and flame. <laughs> So the first sewn item I have to share with you is a cloth habit Harriet bra. Um, so the, the upper cup in this is all the cloth habit Harriet and then I just cut an additional piece of lace that can sort of like scoop around this arc here because I kind of loved this really high contrast look and I wanted it to be sort of like reminiscent of a candy cane with red and white stripes. Um, so I have used the frost 
micro duoplex for the outside and the bridge and of course these lower cut pieces here and I think yeah I used the frost on the inside of the bra as well as my lining for this uh, it does the kit does come with a little charm here and actually the charm is this sweet little tree that is um, green white and red however when I was looking at this bra I didn't really like the idea of introducing the green into it so I put the charm on backwards um, the the back of it is is gold but it has this like texture that sort of looks like pine needles so I thought it looked really cool as, as, as the back as well so so that's you know you don't always have to use things exactly how they're intended to be used. I think putting it backwards actually looks really, really interesting. And I decided to pick that up. I went ahead and used some gold rings and sliders on this that were in my stash. These aren't the ones that came with it. She always sends rings and sliders dyed to match. Let's see. So it would have come with something like that, which um, would have matched the, the strapping perfectly. But I... I just sort of dug out the gold because I wanted to tie in the gold with the, this detail as well. So I'm really happy with how this bra turned out. I think it looks really cool. I love the high contrast design. So exactly how I envisioned it. Um, I went ahead and used the crimson all on the back of this. Don't look at this. The stitching is really bad. I need to take this off and redo the stitching on, on, on the hooks and eyes. You know, it's the last thing that you do when you make a bra and sometimes you just really want to be finished. Um, and so that's where my stitching tends to look really bad, but I'm gonna go back and fix it, I promise. So here's the inside of the bra. Um, the frame is, the frame and the lower cups are a single piece of the micro duoplex because as I said, it's really firm and stable. Um, the upper cup piece here is a piece of sheer cup lining that I have cut on the fold. Now, generally you're not gonna get sheer cup lining and micro duoplex in the same kit. Uh, I would go ahead and buy the sheer cup lining separate. Uh, I love having sheer cup lining available in all of the colors, so I, I would always buy it in addition to the kit as well. I've also lined the the bridge right here with the sheer cup lining as well, just to give it a little bit more stability and strength. I really love how the crimson findings play out against the, the white of the, the frost here. So I think that's something to keep in mind. Um, or you could just do all crimson, you know, you can make whatever you wanna make. So that is the bra, the Cloth Habit Harriet bra. Uh, I also, did a little bonus project with this. Like I said, there's always a ton of lace included in the kits. And I made a form bralette, F-O-R-M-E. So this is a new pattern put out by bra to be and it actually is a pattern that is designed or made to measure. So you send her a bunch of your own measurements and then she'll send you back a personalized pattern just for you. Um, my first version of this didn't go so well, but I, I went and sent her some pictures of, of some of the areas that I was having some issues with. Um, and she adjusted the pattern for me, sent me back a second version and the second version fits really Really, really great so I think that's kind of fun um, I personally am a very atypical in terms of proportion and size and it is something that she mentioned to me that that the pattern pieces looked completely bizarre compared to what her normal pattern pieces look like um, so it's kind of cool to have a pattern like this where it's it's made for you and so the name form is for me uh, I think it's really like, I, I love the idea that it's, it's a pattern specifically designed for my measurements. Uh, it's, I'm a, but on the downside, that means that it only comes in one size. So, like, if I, heaven forbid, gain weight or something changes, uh, I'll have to buy a new pattern re to a new size um, specification. But, yeah, as a bralette, I think it's really fun. Um, it does give you some good definition. I actually am getting some separation in here, which normally my bralettes give me just sort of like the mono boob look. Uh, but this one actually does give me some decent separation. I raised the neckline on this version here. I think that normally I would probably bring it down by another maybe inch or so. And I think that's closer to what her pattern originally was. I would just wanted to see what it looked like with a higher neckline if that gave me more support. And it does, but I don't love the look of the high neckline. So that is the form bralette. So in addition to that, I sewed up some underwear as well. This is the Delphine Thong from Ululu, and I did make this pattern up last month with the banquet kit of November, but I wanted to give it a try again using more sturdier fabric in this belly portion here. So in this version, I've used micro lycra up here, and then I used the lace to form 
the edging of the, the leg holes. So I really like this pattern. It does come all the way to my natural waist without any alterations, which is unheard of. Um, I definitely have a long crotch curve length. And so I'm assuming that the pattern designer does as well. I know she is a petite woman, so maybe she just happens to have an extra long crotch curve length. Um, I find all of her patterns are really the only underwear pattern that I have been able to successfully use without altering massively. Um, for the upper edge of this, I use something a little bit different. Normally I go for um, fold over elastic, but I decided to try something different. And this is elastic that Bra Builder sells and she dyes it to order. So you can get this dyed in any of her colors. Uh, it, it, it has, I think she normally calls this daisy lace trim, uh, but it, you know, it matches the, the point set up kind of perfectly. And so I liked how it tied in with the lace on the bottom. As I said, it's an exact match to the, the micro lycra, which is dyed in the crimson as well. It's a really interesting lace trim. It's definitely a lot firmer than some of the laces I've seen used for trim. It, like, it feels like it has a lot more elastine content to it, a lot more recovery. And I think it'll be a really nice, comfortable, um, waistband to wear with it and it's really easy to put on like you 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 just sew it on top and then I cut away all of the excess material behind it so I just did one pass of zigzags all the way around the bottom of this lace and then cut away the excess material so I probably am done with this pattern for a little while I mean I, I really do like it in terms of thongs like this if I had to wear a thong this is one I would choose I think it was pretty comfortable and I think it fit is really well it's just not a style of underwear that I tend to wear pretty often I am really more of a bikini or bust girl when it comes to underwear but I thought you know I can't just make the same underwear again and again and again so I like to try and, and switch it up and, and make some different things for you as I'm working my way through these kits as I had mentioned in the beginning of this video bra builder has decided to sponsor a giveaway for my channel. If you're a US resident, you only need to do a couple of things to get in the running. First, you need to be subscribed to my channel and it needs to be a public subscription. That way I'm able to verify if you are subscribed. If you need information on how to be publicly subscribed, I've linked that down in the description box below. Next, like the video. And finally, write in the comments what your favorite Christmas holiday memory is. The winner of this prize will receive lace, micro duoplex in their choice of frost or crimson, medium weight power net, and a crimson set of findings with half inch strap elastic. This giveaway will run from today until 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time on December 7th. That way I'm able to ship the prize out to the winner and hopefully they can have it in time for Christmas. I hope everyone has enjoyed this video and I've given you some ideas of how you can utilize this poinsettia kit. I'll see everyone next time. Take care.